this is what it looks like trying to get Coda to take a break from the ball. Coda, you can... No, dude, you need to take a break. <laughs> Coda. Coda, you need to catch your breath. You need to... <laughs> <laughs> One thing about Coda, he's gonna he's gonna play ball till the wheels fall off. <laughs> oh my god. She looks like a wolf right now. Oh, thank you. Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I just pulled up to Target. I need to grab just like household items. Literally the list says laundry detergent, lint rollers, toilet paper, toothpaste, blah, 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 blah. Nothing fun, just all household items, but we do need all of them. So I'm gonna run in there and grab all of that. But I think I might stop and go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods because I'm a little down in the dumps today, if I'm being honest. Brandon and I are supposed to be on a plane right now on our way to Charleston. But I'm sure all of you guys know they are being hit by Storm Debbie right now. Miss Debbie just coming in and ruining everything for everybody. No, but in all seriousness, they are being hit by a pretty bad storm right now and they're flooding really bad. Like we were prepping everything to get ready to go. And then the girl that I was gonna stay at her Airbnb, her and I, I've stayed with, we stayed with her last time we went to Charleston and she was really, really sweet. So her and I have become friends and we were gonna stay with her again. And she texted me and was like, hey, just a heads up, like, we just got declared a state of emergency. Like we're getting hit really bad by a storm and it's gonna be flooding. And she was like, the storm might be over by the time you guys get here, but that doesn't mean that like the city's not gonna be flooded. Like it might not be actively storming anymore, but we're probably gonna be pretty flooded. And I think they had like a hurricane go through there. So I Charleston has just been through it, honestly. Well, and Georgia and Florida, cause I think they're getting hit too. I just hope everybody's okay. But I'm definitely super sad because we booked that trip back in April and I was really looking forward to going because we went to Charleston back in 2020 and we went through like a travel nightmare our flight got delayed we had to spend the night in the airport and basically our entire first day that we were in Charleston got ruined and we were only there for like two or three days so it was a super super short trip so I booked this trip because I wanted to go back and get you know the full experience because last time we didn't get that and this trip got canceled. So honestly, just me and Charleston don't seem like we're mixing very well. But you know what, it is what it is. Um, but I am pretty sad because I was really looking forward to that trip and we had to cancel literally two days before we left. So I'm gonna take myself shopping. We're gonna go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I've been seeing so many videos of people going to TJ Maxx and finding the cutest stuff. And I've been seeing on TikTok that Home Goods has Halloween stuff. And you guys know I'm a Halloween girly, so I'm gonna run into Target, grab all the boring stuff that we need, and then we're gonna go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods and have a little bit of fun and shop around and cheer ourselves up. Okay, I always get so many questions about my bed sheets. This is the exact set that we have. They're so freaking cute. They have so many cute ones. Like these are super cute. These are cute. It is literally criminal to come to Target and not go to the home section. So we're just gonna go, you know, take a look. Just see what we can find. I always check the artwork because Target's literally where I get all my artwork. I have that one, I have that one. I just love like the gold frames. Like someone could tell me they got this from a thrift store and I would believe them. I also have this, so I always come to the art section just to see if they have anything new because sometimes they do. This is my favorite section and it looks like they've started to put out some of their fall stuff. I literally have this. <laughs> I have this exact thing. It's so cute. These are so cute. Smoked apple cider. That actually smells really good. Oh my gosh. 30 bucks. It's so big though. I might have to get that. Look at this purse. That is so funny.
Okay, I'm on my way home. I want to get Brandon's reaction to the cowboy skeleton because he's not the type to be annoyed when I buy stuff like that. He's going to love the skeleton. He's going to think he's so cute and so funny, and he's going to be excited. It's in the front seat. I have no idea what you could have gotten. <laughs> Is he not so cute? Wait, he's, he's a cowboy. <laughs> he's literally as big as you. That is so fun. Is that not so cute? I think I'm gonna put him on the chair upstairs. <laughs> okay, I'm back home. I wanna do a little TJ Maxx haul for you guys because I got some really cute stuff. First is these freaking hoops. I My jaw almost dropped when I saw them. Look how beautiful. I'm so excited about these and they were only $12.99. And then I got these pants. Brandon kind of was laughing at me because he said they're pumpkin pants. They're- no, I said they're see-through. Yeah, you call them pumpkin pants. I said your pumpkin pants are see-through. <laughs> they, they are a teensy- like They are a teensy bit see-through, but so are these and I wear these. I, I don't think they're that see-through. They're orange. But I feel like these could be really cute in the fall with like some boots. And I tried them on. I absolutely love the way they fit. I think I already showed a clip of that. But like I love the way they fit. They're not too long on me. I just got to figure out how to style them. Okay, next is this dress. It It's pretty long. But it has all these different like patterns on. Like I don't know if you guys can see that. This outfit would be so cute with like some cowboy boots or honestly just regular sandals. And I have been in need of more dresses because I have dresses, but they're more like fancy. I don't have a lot of like casual dresses. I just, I love this. I think it's so cute. Okay, next thing I got is this blanket. When I saw this blanket, you guys, I wanted to cry. It is so cute. The, first of all, the black and white checker, absolutely obsessed. I don't know if you guys can see the little ghosts that are all over it. I could not put this in my cart fast enough. It says it's a queen blanket, so I think this thing is really big, but you know, that's okay. Okay, next thing I got are these bed sheets. They literally have ghosts with checkers. Honestly, if that's like queen size, well, that might be too small for our bed. I was gonna say, I might like pair the two together. I don't know if that will fit on our bed, but either way, these sheets, the checker ghosts, are you kidding me? I think I also have orange sheets, so I might do like, for the month of September, I might do the orange sheets and then when it's October, switch over to these, I think would be really, really fun. And then you guys already saw, I got the skeleton cowboy. I debated not getting him. I really did debate it, but I was like, you know what? You know, life is short. Buy the cowboy skeleton. Okay. This I did not get from TJ Maxx, but you guys saw me smell this. I ended up getting the smoked apple cider. This thing smells so good and it's freaking huge. And because it's green, I feel like I could leave this out even for Christmas and just use the whole thing. But that is everything I got. And I was gonna go to Home Goods, but I was like, you know what? I've already done a lot of damage. I spent like $200. So I was like, let's skip Home Goods. We can do that a different day. But I'm really happy with everything I got. Yesterday, I got these little watermelon cookie dog treats from Petco, and I made the mistake of letting Korinska eat them on the living room rug. I think it's stained. I don't know. I'll show you guys. You can see, I'm hoping it's not a stain. I don't know. There's another one over here, and it's not too bad, but this rug is washable, so I'm gonna move the couch, I'm gonna pull the rug out, and then I'm gonna try and wash it, and hopefully it'll come out. Uh, it's because I fall forward and I can't 
Really? Where's Jelly? Oh, this isn't a... No, it just... Oh. Yeah. I keep buying packs of hair ties and they keep disappearing. And it's because of the hair tie bandit. These were all under the couch. What time is your mean? Oh, another one. Another? Jelly! Oh, this is where the thing for my keyboard went. I got new cowboy boots and they just came in the mail. So let's do a little unboxing. You do this one. Two, three. Oh. Those are fucking cute. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh wait, no, switch feet. <laughs> they're so cute. They're from Red Top. They actually have like super cute boots. Cute? Yeah. Okay, wait. Maybe not with that outfit. No. What do you guys think? They're so cute. I was gonna get a new pair of Tacovas for myself for my birthday because my birthday's in a couple weeks. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get myself a little birthday gift. I'm gonna get another pair of Tacova boots because I have one pair and I love them. But Tacovas are expensive. Like, I love the brand. This is not me bashing the, band, the brand at all. I love Tacovas, but they're expensive. Like, let's be for real. And the color that I wanted, they didn't have in my size. Like it was out of stock and it had been out of stock for a while. And now I can't even find the color on the website anymore. So I started looking at different boots and I literally ended up buying myself like three or four pairs of boots for literally the price of one pair of Tacovas. That's how I justified it. Girl math. But I was like, oh, well, I was already planning on spending this much money. So I'll just buy multiple pairs of boots. That was my, that was my logic in my head. Okay, you guys, good news. I pulled the rug out of the dryer and it looks like the stains are gone. Over here looks good too. This is why we can never have a normal rug, huh, Gels? It's gotta be a washable rug, huh? Um, oh, that's my baby girl. Literally, that is a loaf of bread. You are a loaf of bread, mama. Good crunchies. Good crunchies. Good crunchies. Jay's making dinner. On, on the menu tonight, Southwest Ranch Chicken Bowls. I saw that packet and thought it looked good, so. Yes. We're gonna Hi. do. That, that looks disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> the chicken's not cooked all the way yet, but we're gonna do chicken bowls with rice instead of tortillas. And it's really good. We use this rice from Trader Joe's. Just stick it in the microwave for five minutes. So good. And it's really good. And then we're gonna do avocado, lettuce, sour cream, cheese. It's gonna be really good. Love you. You. Have a good run. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. I really don't want to run right now, but I've made up excuses for the last few days on why I can't run. And I'm like, you know what, dude, you need to just go do it. So we're ready to go run. I just finished my first meal. I feel good. I'm a little annoyed because I paused my watch and then I forgot to restart it. Um, but that's okay. I, I know what my distance is because I run this route all the time. But yeah, we're gonna head back home.
market. So we're gonna do a little haul. We got a loaf of sourdough. I'm very excited for this. And then we got some zucchini and some chives. The chives smell so good. Sky and Jelly are going at it right now. Jelly ran up on her. Jelly's been like trying to fight. Brandon saw a TikTok or something that if you take uh, wildflower honey, like which wildflower is like bees make honey with like the local flowers in your area. And it, if you take like a spoonful a day, it helps with your allergies. And we both get horrible allergies, especially me. You get I get on your ass. like, it's bad. Like I will literally be like in bed and don't want to go anywhere because my allergies are so bad. But anyways, so we got these cute little mini guys. They're so cute. Um, and we're going to try it out and see if it works. That's you grab. Grapes. Yes, and then we got pears. We got Asian pears, um, whatever the fuck this one is called, I can't remember. And then we got some grapes. Tell me these grapes don't look incredible. We got a chocolate croissant. Look at this croissant. That looks so good. Doing it warmed up. What do you think? I think it's good. It'd be better warm. Mwah. I just said you want me to warm it up. Uh, who could warm it up? I'm just hungry. Mm. Alright, but that's gonna be it for this video. That's gonna be it for this video. That's gonna be it. it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys know you can always keep up with me on TikTok and Instagram when I'm not posting here on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video.